We're excited to be partnering with The Restore. We're going to be turning some of their more frequently donated items into really great home decor. This time we're going to be turning cabinet doors into serving trays. The cabinet door donations come in all shapes and sizes. You can find um, really small to really big, wide, large, small, whichever size works best for you. When working with kitchen cabinet doors, you want to make sure you clean them really well. Uh, grease gets splattered around all the time in the kitchen um, and the grease will sometimes come up through your paint job. So make sure you get out the Dawn and uh, scrub any of that off. Remove any unwanted hardware from your cabinet door. If you're left with holes on the surface that you would like to be uh, facing upward on your tray, then you need to take some wood putty and fill those holes. I use DIY paint and black velvet. You can get that on my website at purplemonkeymanor.com. DIY paint is a water-based clay paint um, I pulled this uh, cutting sheet over to kind of protect my countertop, but honestly, it would be easier to clean up the quartz countertops than it would be the, the plastic sheet. I put my first coat of paint on a little sloppy. It doesn't matter too much. You can see in this next photo where the uh, paint had dried on the first coat. And I went back in with a little bit more black just to touch up some of the areas uh, that I was seeing too much cabinet shining through. I measured the screws on each of my handles and then plotted it out with a tape measure and a pencil to make sure that I got it in just the right spot. If you go to my website, purplemonkeymanor.com, you'll see the blog post where I wrote out how I came up with the numbers. I used a baby wipe to start wet distressing this paint because it is made of clay. You can just, you can just kind of wipe a bit of it away. I felt like the wet wipe was too wet, so I grabbed a paper towel, wrapped it around the wet wipe, and that seemed to soak up a lot of the moisture. I covered the entire painted surface with uh, DIY's Crystal Clear Chandelier. It's a, a decoupage medium, but also a top coat. Um, once this dried completely, I decided to go back and do another coat on top of at least the serving part, just for more protection. Finally, I attached the handles. I am thrilled with the way this turned out. Um, I liked the handles with the back plates on them too. I thought that those were pretty cool. I think there's a couple more sets of them there at the Restore. Whoever gets to them first is gonna love them.